Well, hello, hello. Good morning and welcome back to our kitchen. I say good morning because I always prep dinner first thing when I get up. And I'm going to do something a little different today. I can't exactly make a chili verde because I don't have all the makings for it, but I'm going to at least make a pork verde. So we're going to take this beautiful pork loin here and we're going to cook it all day long with a couple of these tomatoes and onions all cut up. I'm going to put the Las Palmas in. We'll save the salsa verde for tonight. We could put it on there just in case it doesn't come out green in that. All right, let me get this started with the power of editing. You'll see the next step. See you in a minute. All right, we got the onions chopped up, so let's get those in there. Here's how the pork is looking, by the way, in the crock pot all alone. So let's get it some friends. All right, this is coming along nicely. So two onions and this pork have really filled this pot up so far. Let's see what else we can put in there. All right, tomatoes are sliced. Now, there isn't really a recipe that calls for this. I just wanted to have a little bit of freshness in it because when you have a true chili verde, it just tastes so good. You know there's fresh ingredients in it. All I have is onion and tomato. The rest of it's out of a can or the freezer or whatever. That's cool. So, uh, yeah, let's get this in there. Wow. I mean, this just looks amazing before it's even cooked. All right. So, uh, next thing we're going to do is get the green stuff going. I'm going to try and make this sometime, but I'll have to plan for that because, uh, you can never go wrong with the Las Palmas. It's one of my favorites. Green chili. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to pour this can in there. And then uh, after that, I'm probably going to pour some water in it. So let's see how it looks after the can. All right. Got my can open. Oh, man. This stuff smells and tastes so good. <laughs> All right. Let's get it over here. Ooh. Splash zone. I don't know, folks. What do you think? Maybe one more with some water? I want the pork to be as submerged as possible, and I know that uh, the onion will help to put some of that. So let's see. Let's grab ourselves some water. Oh my god, this just smells amazing. Pour a little bit in the can here. Give me residues in my left over. No, we'll do like half a can. Which is how much my bottle works out to. Ha ha ha. Alright. Let's see about that. So this will thin out your sauce a little. So that's kind of what I want, is more like that consistency. Chile is kind of thick. All right, I'm so excited about this. I'm gonna sprinkle a little pepper on it. You can season to taste however you like, folks. Um, and then I'm gonna cook this for like the next 12 hours on low. Yeah, so uh, of course with the magic of editing, you'll get to see the finished product here. And thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate it, folks. We'll see ya. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, now I know I showed the salsa verde already, because we'll put that on the meat. But we're also going to make some yummy Zatarain spinach rice, and we're going to serve some corn with it. So, you know, just trying to get a good meal together that tastes like, you know, it should go together. Alright, thanks so much. Alright, here we go. Here's our pork verde. This came out so good. So we'll do a little flyby here. We got the Zatarain spinach rice. Mm, mm, mm. Got some corn that we mix with tomato and onion, and then we got ourselves some pork with that sauce that I had shown you earlier. All right, thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this. And this is Easy Crock Pot Pork Fair Day. Have a good one.